Welcome back. In this session, I want to teach you about point feature classes in ArcGIS. So from last time, we've got three test points, and I deleted all the fields except for the ID field. And sometimes what you want to do is extract the invisible location property that's part of this point shape. So basically, we want to know for every point object or point feature, what's the XY coordinate? So to do that, we can use a tool called Add XY. So all this tool will do is extract the invisible X coordinate and Y coordinate from the shape field. And then just OK. So here we had the original shape field. So from that point location, it extracted the X value and the Y value. Okay, and sometimes the shape is not point, but something called multi-point. And that would be where the points are in different locations, but they have the same attribute value. So a classic example would be you might have a cloud of points, and points that had the same elevation value, um, why repeat that same elevation value? So what we can do is run the dissolve tool to change points into multi-point shapes. Okay, so we search for the dissolve tool and our output will call it um, three points dissolve.shp and it's stored in this test folder. And we're going to dissolve based on the elevation value. So if points have the same elevation value, they become one multi-point. And down at the bottom, we would check Create Multi-Part Features. So Create Multi-Points, and then just OK. So the result is a multi-point shape. So that's actually consisting of three locations or three parts of this multi-point. Those three locations all have the same elevation value. So here's the multi-point feature class, and here are the three locations of that one multi-point, and they all have the same elevation value of 535. Okay, a bit about jargon in ArcGIS. A feature class is a JS data set that's stored on the hard drive. So here we've got a shapefile feature class and it is named three point dissolve dot shape. So that's the feature class. A feature layer is the layer that you see in the table of contents. So here's what's called the feature layer. And then a feature is each object in your attribute table. So in this case, we've got one feature. It's a multi point feature. And that multi-point feature consists of three parts. So this is one part of the multi-point, the second part of the multi-point, and the third part of the multi-point. So we've got feature classes, which are stored on hard drive. We've got feature layers, which is in your table of contents. And then each object that has a row is called a feature. Okay, so one way to create points is we can create points from a table. So in this case, we're going to create points from a worksheet in an Excel spreadsheet. And you just have to have two fields representing the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Okay, another tool that you can use to create points is the Create Fishnet tool. And here what we would do is basically specify where our origin is in our fishnet and then give it the same x value for y axis coordinate and then just go north of your origin and that basically ensures that your y axis is going to go straight up and down and then we would specify um, here we're going to create some squares and they're going to be 100 meters by 100 meters and we'll create 10 rows and 10 columns as our squares and then create label points in the center of each square. And then we'll make, for example, polygons. So that will create a fishnet and it will be called um, points 100 meter 
that shape and actually it'll be polygons because we specified polygons and there'll be a companion shape file of the points because we've checked on create label points so then okay so here's our fishnet polygons and then here are the points centered inside each polygon so that's an easy way to create um, you know in this example 100 points so 10 by 10 Okay, so for some applications, you might want to create random locations within polygons or random locations along a line, and that's easy to do in ArcMap. You simply use a geoprocessing tool. So here we're going to use a tool called Create Random Points, and we're going to output a feature class 10randompoints.shp, so it'll be a shapefile. And then the key is constraining feature class. So we want to constrain these random points so they're inside our polygons. So now we'll get 10 random points inside these polygons. So then OK. And the resulting point feature class is 10 points randomly distributed inside each polygon. OK, so let's say for every random point, we need to know what's the polygon ID the point is sitting in. So you can use a geoprocessing tool called the intersect tool to intersect the polygons with the points and transfer the polygon information to your points. Okay, so we would just drag our 10 random points as an input feature class and our original polygons as an input feature class. And then if we look at the table for our polygons, what it will do is transfer all the information, in this case it's just the ID information, from each polygon to the points. And then we'll say, no, we don't need feature IDs in our output shapefile. So our output shapefile will be called random points with the polygon information. And then just OK. So then I sorted ascending by ID, so then we could highlight all those points that are sitting in polygon number one. And there are the 10 points that are randomly located sitting in polygon number one. So selection, zoom to selected. So here are 10 points and they're sitting in polygon number one. Okay, so we've got our cloud of points and we might want to know of all these points, which one is the farthest north? So there's two ways to answer that question. One way would be to add XY using that geoprocessing tool. So that will add the XY values as fields in your point attribute table. So 998.8644. So that would be this point's the farthest north of all the points in this cloud. The other way to determine which point is the farthest north is if you go to the layer and then right mouse click and go to properties, under extent, this is the farthest north point, this is the farthest south point, this is the farthest east of all the points, and this is the farthest west of all the points. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, and in our next session, we'll talk about lines in ArcGIS.